I really enjoy taking these kind of particle systems and plugging them into a geometry instancing setup. So if I was going to do that here, what I would do is add a null SOP on the end of my chain. I would create a new geometry comp. And I would go inside of it and let's say delete this torus and let's make a box SOP. Don't forget to turn on the render and display flags. And I already know that because the range of my 3D scene here is already pretty small, you know, the boundaries are from negative 0.5 to positive 0.5 in both directions. So that tells me that a box that is of the size one, one and one is going to be too big for this. So I know that I want to make this pretty small, maybe 0.01 in all directions. And now we can enable our instancing. So I'm going to go to the instancing page of parameters here, turn on instancing, grab my null SOP, put that onto the default instance op parameter, and then I can just go through and start mapping parameters. So I know my translate X is going to be P0, and it's always helpful. Remember that P stands for position. So P0 is X, P1 is Y, and P2 is Z. And now you can see I have this kind of 3D box grid that's getting affected by the position of my mouse on the screen.